Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Neighborhood Picks. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like, tell a friend, tell a friend again. Bug the shit out of them. Make them hit the subscribe button. <laughs> uh, listen, happy Sunday morning. Why am I so happy? I don't know. I'm under a palm tree. Uh, listen, I got some good stuff. I got some good stuff. I wish, I really wish they invented a pat on the back emoji so I could send it to myself. They need to have this. Look, like a pat on the back emoji. I can't even give myself a pat on the back for the idea I thought of, but here it goes. All right. I put my detective cap on. This is the Yankees with Brady staying like this all day. Last game of the season today. Yankees need to win to make sure they're in without a playoff. Uh, I'm nervous. We're, we're tied with Boston with uh, just today left. It's the last day of the regular season. And I got to root for the Yankees, so I'm going to keep the Yankees with Brady and call this the Greatness Ensemble Outfit. You like that? You like that? Kirk Cousins. Uh, anyway, listen. Let's stop the corny shit. Let's, get, let's talk turkey. Okay. Last night, I'm sitting in the house, and I'm saying, all right, what, what angle, what take is nobody thinking of? Come on, Nooch, you're creative. So then I said, all right, you got to think like Brady. Think think like Brady. All right, so I put the T-shirt on. I threw a few passes outside. <laughs> and uh, I started thinking like Brady. All right, what's going to motivate Brady right now? A win, sure, but they're supposed to win. Um, and then it just hit me. It hit me in the big forehead like a, like a ton of bricks. Ready for this? What would motivate Tom Brady other than a win? It's not the Super Bowl. They're their favorite anyway. You got it yet? This is it. If I looked this up, don't you think Tommy looked it up? Last night on the computer, I looked up what was the most points ever scored on a Bill Belichick Patriot defense. The answer is 42. No, not my age in a couple weeks. Don't be a fucking wise guy. <laughs> uh, 42 is the most points ever scored on New England by Patrick Mahomes in 2017. So, what does that tell me? That tells me that's the number for Brady tonight. Brady, imagine. Imagine if Brady puts up 43 points tonight. Drops a 43-burger on New England. Most points ever. Hundreds of games that Belichick coached in his one and first game against the team. It's not like he played them ten times already. This is his first time facing the Pats. Goes into Foxborough. Beats Bill. And if he puts up the most points ever, more than Mahomes, which is not a high number. Nobody ever put up more than 42. You know, you see, you would think it would be a little higher. Somebody put up 51 against a Parcells team, but 42 is doable, doable. So look for Brady to go for that record tonight, and Tampa Bay is going to roll. That's why I like KC, Tampa Bay, two-teamer if you really want to make money. And then um, my, my, my sleepers today, I, my top five, my top five for today are KC, Tampa Bay. I like Dallas. I don't trust Carolina like, like they're so good just because they're three. You know, that's where a record is deceiving. Dallas. Dallas. Seattle. I feel like I got the NFC West pegged. Is Seattle going to go three and 14 this year? No. They're like one and two or one right now. They should. And San Francisco. What's wrong with them? Disheveled backfield. They're all hurt. So, Seattle's my sleeper today. Uh, the Giants got all their receivers out. I was going to say something about them, but they, they're missing Shepard. They're missing Slayton. Forget them. Uh, Dallas and, uh, and Seattle. Seattle. Sh and uh, Oh, and if you want to listen to me, I think the little guy going around is going to be a nice game, but I don't think they're on the level of the Rams. The NFC West, I think the Rams will beat the Cardinals, and I think – Seattle will beat the Niners today. So those are two things we could bet. But um, Tom Brady hitting 43 points is the number.
that I want everybody to be watching tonight because that's going to be fun. Uh, I think Tom Brady's going to break the record all-time points scored, and that's going to be that. Real quick, I picked up Le'Veon Bell last night because if there's one organization that can bring back Le'Veon Bell, it's Baltimore. Baltimore rejuvenates guys. They take shots on guys. John Harbaugh, good guy, high character. I like John Harbaugh. I'd play for him any day. I think if Le'Veon Bell's not that old, he's 29, if anybody can get Le'Veon Bell to be somewhat of what he was, he should make a dent in Baltimore. But we'll see. We'll see. He hasn't done it. But when you go to the Jets and then you're on the Chiefs and they're already they're throwing all over, this is a different organization. If Le'Veon Bell doesn't shine here, his career will be over. Um, Robbie Anderson, guys, don't be so – he's on every waiver wire because he had a bad game. Hey, bad game dumpers. Robbie Anderson caught for like 1,400 last year. He, he probably should be on a team right now. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so um, that's it. The magic number is 42. Tom Brady going for the record. The Bucks will score 43 tonight, and in one game, he will surpass what hasn't been done in the last 20-something years. And then, instead of it being 50-50, 60-40, who really was it? Brady was a Belichick. It was Brady was a Belichick. If he ever puts up that 43 burger, it goes right to 90% Brady, 10% Belichick in the fans' eyes, the perspective. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm hammering KC, Tampa Bay together. Because I don't think they'll lose. That's a two-team par. And then I'm going to go Seattle, Dallas, maybe the Rams. Those are That's my top five. KC, Tampa Bay, Dallas, Seattle, Rams. All right? But other than that, not too much. And um, uh, be patient. Be patient with, uh, with your players, boys.